love me, yeah, they love me. First love yourself. For that. And God we trust, trust me. I don't trust myself. Your yeah, jewelry, I get it took. No show. Welcome back to It Is What It Is. This episode is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. The app is an easy way to make some cash just by making picks on your favorite players. Underdog is available in more than 30 states, including California, Florida, Texas, and New York, just to name a few. Make sure to support the show by hitting the link in the bio and downloading the Underdog Fantasy app. They will also match your first deposit up to $100 and you get a special pick when you sign up. Of course, I'm Treasure Wilson, aka Sat Baby, along with your host, Cam. And Mace, how we feeling? I'm cool on giving yeah. them dap today. I'm cool. <laughs> he cool on the dap today. <laughs> nigga was in the USC sideline. You violated. I told niggas you was coming to Colorado. I told <laughs> niggas I everything laid out for you. They had the whole. They had, you had your own suite ready. They had for the real? car service ready for you. Everything, food, catering. They had your own everything. And once niggas start losing, and you on that, how the <laughs> fuck you get on the UFC sideline? How did you get on the UFC sideline? I'm just asking you that. How'd you get over there? Well, you know, I'm an East Coast artist, right? <laughs> <laughs> you Things start me, going man. bad. I had to take it back to Cali, you know? <laughs> you embarrassed me, man. Then you over there with the Dion shirt, the cow. It was really embarrassing. No, I had, I had my whole family in the prime time outfit. But then when I got in the arena, you know, everybody started paws grabbing me from the USC side. What you? I don't understand what you mean. Why would they just start randomly grabbing you from the USC side? It was crazy. It was pause. It was crazy. You making there, up Cam. shit as we go along, no, bro. No, I was up there getting a smash burger, real for real talk. And, and why, they took me to the USC side. So they randomly said, "Look at Mace. Let's bring him to USC." With once all, people said, with all the Colorado, yeah. Shit once you gotta, I, once I started taking pictures with people, some USC guys. They paused. They grabbed me. Do you believe this? And, and you went to Colorado with me. Do you believe I this don't story? Know. I, <laughs> thank I, had, you. I came. Pause. I came in a regular way. I came in a regular way through the through the regular gate. You had on mad Colorado I paraphernalia. Know, but I, so I, they... I, I I came the regular way. <laughs> 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 I took the kids to get the experience. So yeah, I, just, I was I was walking like regular people. Got, By the time I got in there, I I couldn't I'm get done, to the US, I'm, um, I'm, the I'm Colorado done. side. I I'm gonna leave this alone. You can say what you want to say. It's no way that niggas from USC grabbed you with all that Colorado merch on. <laughs> I just don't see. I don't believe it. Hey, <laughs> Cam. <laughs> Yo. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. No, I'm just saying. Oh yeah. Here. All right, man. Go ahead. Okay. Stand up. Well, I'm great cool thing is thing. we're gonna start by talking about Colorado versus USC. Yeah. So USC took the dub, forty-eight to one. So basically, what were your thoughts on the game? Um, the game, the game was out of control at first. I think this is it was a good a good um time to talk about how how players wait too long to start playing for real. I think mentally. Some people get it and some people don't pause, get it right away. It's almost the reason why some players need a fifth year because their minds really haven't developed. When it takes you to the third and fourth quarter to start playing for real, then that that is a that's a sign of immaturity. It doesn't has anything to do with the talent level because clearly when they started playing, they were able to bring the game all the way back to about, you know, a touchdown or so. So it, it proves that they could actually play with USC because they lost by about seven or eight with no Travis Hunter, you know. So that that spoke volumes about it. And that's what I really got. And the guy Caleb is just, he's paused. He's, he's on another level. He's really on another level. I think the game would have been closer if, if Travis was playing and Dion another son wasn't playing. Yeah. So you got two people on defense who wasn't playing. You got the number one target that wasn't playing. Mm -hmm. Shador took a little minute to, uh, to, to heat up, but at the end of the day, you know, my thing with Shador is I think he's great. I just think he needs to get rid of the ball so quicker when he's under pressure. I know yeah. I think he scrambles and tries to make magic happen, which sometimes he does, but sometimes you got to know when to throw it away, throw, throw the ball away. What I will say is this. This is the first time I got to watch what was it, Caleb. I, Caleb Williams play. I, and it's a big difference from, and no, Shador, my man, you know, that's my nigga, but he got time. 
I see why that kid won the Heisman Trophy last year. They showed his numbers. His numbers through four games now are almost a third better than what they were last year. Wow. And I think, yeah, and I think that whenever these schools are playing playing uh, Colorado, this is like their national game, even mm-hmm. if they're on TV or not, even Bo Nix last week. These yeah. niggas is coming to show the fuck out. Yeah. They're like, yo, this is this is this is your king. Yeah. This, this exactly. is this, these is the niggas you love. So whenever they're coming to play Colorado, because it's going to be a nationally televised game, niggas came to show out. That kid, Caleb, he, that nigga, that nigga was running left, Mm -hmm. threw it across his body right. Throwing right. Fucking rocket. Accurate. Crazy. Like, that nigga, that nigga is nice, B. And he was on the sideline talking crazy. He was on the sideline talking crazy. I... I'm serious. Oh, you you had to be there, Cam. You you missed it. That's why I, I was asking been, where you I would, at. I would not have been on that sideline anyway, even if even if I was there. So I wouldn't have Cam, missed it. Cam, there's two I'm... sides to every story. So I was getting the other side. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> yeah. I would have never been on that sideline. <laughs> You trying to fuck the red carpet up that I get treated at out there, man. Dion, it's all good. They expected y'all to lose these two games that they just had. I think they would have won this last game if his other son was playing. Yeah. And if uh, Travis was playing. It was a really good game. They did get off to a slow start, but they came back. They had every chance to Mm -hmm. give up in that game, and they didn't. So I want to give them the credit for not giving up and staying in there. um, Let me look at the numbers real quick. This kid number, I thought he was going to have 500 yards. Yeah. Yeah, like almost 300 yards at most. He was was going crazy. Six touchdowns, one interception. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. But but he had like 300, he had like 270, 280 at halftime. So I'm like, this nigga might go for 500. Yeah. And Shador had a good game. But like, I will agree with this, what you said. Took him a little while to heat up to get momentum. But when your main pieces is missing, what you want him to do? Yeah. And and the the number two on on, um, USC. You saw when his knee snapped back? Mm-hmm. His knee snapped back. He came out the next play to play. That just lets you know there really were dogs out there. I'm not feeding <laughs> into you, bro. I'm not, and I'm telling you another thing. You can't go back to Colorado when I go. You stay on the other side when it's time to go. It's you know, the year number two. I was just supporting both number twos, you know? I'm just telling you. You see, when we went to the fight last night, the nigga... Yeah. My man Lou Young was pissed off with you. He's Lou, Lou, said, Lou said, what the fuck was you doing over there? Like, people were seeing that shit, murder. It was, it was a little embarrassing for me, man. But you roll with, you roll with the with the winners. I roll with the winners. <laughs> I was supposed to be on the side of the winners, so I was dressed to be with Colorado, but it looked like they wasn't going to win. So, so, you go just got the, so you got what? up in the middle of the I game with the winners, and went to yeah. USC. Copy, say no more. And, yeah. And then real quick before we move on to the next question, do you want to explain the video that you right. posted? Yeah. About with the dogs? The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> matter of fact, matter of fact, can we go to that video real quick, please? Take us to that video real quick, Nick. All right okay. now. <laughs> <laughs> so I traveled across the country expecting to meet a friend there, right? He doesn't show up. I call Stat. She doesn't respond. I call Larry. Larry doesn't respond. I said, oh, they set me up, so I had to go with the winners, you know? No, no, I had a little I had a little emergency. <laughs> we missed our flight. I, apo- yeah. I do apologize about not being there. Yeah, you, you know, pulled a mace on mace. No, ask that. The flights was booked. Yes, the flight Every, was I booked. St- everything was yes. booked. Everything was straight. I had a little emergency, and I apologize about that. But I, I had, niggas was on standby for whatever you want. I called <laughs> niggas. My nigga Pretty Tony was there. Everything was laid out. I'm like, I ain't going to carry on. We know what you do. Niggas is more going to be more mad that you don't have a USC hat on today. No, I That's- apologize. I got the I got the um, <laughs> the USC um, maroon wine on right now. Heard you. Say less, you know? my nigga. Say less, bro. I'm done, Stan. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm rubbing to the Caleb devil Williams, there. though, that nigga's that deal, bro. I'm not going to lie. I will give Caleb a lot. They're custom making me a USC hat. All right, murder. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Uh, they, for real, different day they. or day day. The regular Yesterday day. We met day. <laughs> but I'll say this though: tomorrow when we got to deal with OJ, 
OJ going to have all type of USC <laughs> shit on tomorrow. Yeah. It's all good. I'll be ready for you, Juice Pause. <laughs> I got a whole surprise for your ass tomorrow. You gonna come in with the bills, USC, all type of oh, shit. Yeah, fuck he, with. He, he, he had a, OJ had a good fucking weekend, man. We'll, <laughs> yes. we'll deal with that tomorrow, though. Yes. Okay, so moving along, Canelo dropped Charlo in the seventh round to remain the undisputed super middleweight champion. And Terrence Crawford had some words. He said, you went out sad, didn't even try to win. All you did was try to survive. You should be ashamed of yourself. So what are your thoughts on the fight and Terrence's response? Well, when Mace just said that we didn't meet him at the game and everything, and it was my fault, I feel like it's his fault for dragging me to that motherfucking fight. I can't get them two hours back in my life, man. That was probably the worst fight I've seen in person and I don't know how fucking long. Yeah. I have no idea what the fuck. I, well, I do have an idea. Yeah. Charlo, you fucking sold us out. You said you did it for the culture. What culture? The track culture, nigga? You was running the whole fucking fight. We seen it. And then you was looking scared. Not only that, we in there now. Think about this. You in the stadium, right? It's first of all, we don't want to get too out of pocket because the cartel is there. Yeah, this man Mexicans yeah, there. There's so many Mexicans. It's man, a Latin listen, fest. Yeah, yeah. So we was like, listen, man. We <laughs> only thing we got, only one we got in here is Charlo. Because because <laughs> if you said something too crazy, them Mexicans was ready to go crazy and jump niggas. You ran uh, this all. He act- ran all fight. Let me go, murder. You dragged okay, me to this okay, fight. Okay, okay. So we even with the Colorado shit because I really wasn't that impressed to go to the fight because I told Bob did I tell niggas I said nigga was gonna fuck Charlo up anyway. But what he didn't do, he ain't even fuck Charlo up because Charlo was running. Y'all niggas been calling this nigga out for like three, four years. You and your brother been calling Canelo out. He been telling y'all niggas y'all do not want these problems. Y'all end up getting the ring and you got the problems that he told you y'all didn't want. Then you call out Bud after the fight. You just looking for fights to make money at this point. What I suggest is this. Fight Errol Spence. We'll see where the coach goes. His name Derek James? Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, go ahead, Myrtle. What happened? I said that when they fight, who will the coach go with? Derek James. Who are you going to coach if Errol Spence fights Charlo? Who is he going to go with? Who gives a fuck? His top two fighters lost. He trashed at this point. Nobody give a fuck about yeah. that, nigga. You, I don't know how he won coach of the year, trainer of the year, whatever yeah, yeah, the fuck he was. Yeah, trainer of the year. That nigga's, that nigga's garbage. So at the end of the day, you need some new fighters. The best fight that we probably want to see is your two fighters against each other. I don't even want to see Charlo against Bud. Because Bud's a, a monster. That nigga Charlo's feet was off, fumbling. Like, he looked like a nigga with no coordination. A nigga was running. Yo, I'm looking at his face, and you can see what we seen on the instant replay. When the punches was coming his way in slow motion, he was like... He was like... He was scared. That yeah, nigga he was kept scared. Doing that. Nigga. I was just like, you went wow. in for a check, my nigga, and you were embarrassing. And you saw this. His brother up. was taking pictures with Bud. Whole thing about it is this, and I ain't trying to start no shit and no shit, nothing like that. It's like this, bro. The nigga who smacked the shit out of his brother was in there walking around dolo. White nigga. The other brother got three security guards <laughs> when walking around the arena. Three security guards. Nigga smack fire out you. You don't want revenge? You ain't gonna pick up a chair like you was in Alabama, nut? Yo, my nigga. Nigga smack stone cold dog shit out you, nigga. And you walking around with security? White nigga walking around like, what's popping? Yeah. I don't, I don't got no respect for the Charlos. No disrespect to, to nobody who fuck with them, but they embarrassing y'all niggas. You got a wife, you got kids. Niggas seen you run that whole fight. Then you gonna call out Bud afterwards? Listen, me and Myrtle left when the bell hit. When soon as round 12 was over and the bell rang, we ain't say for a decision. We ain't say for shit. When we got outside, the nigga, the nigga um, Terrence Crawford was already outside. I don't even know what yeah. round he left it. He yeah. about to leave he like round 10. Me. Like, yo, I'm not sticking around to watch this bullshit. That shit was bullshit. Yeah, I'm I, mad you I, took me to the shit, Murder. Yeah, I was trying to be, I was trying to be a friend of the year. I flew in <laughs> from Denver to take Cam to the fight. That shit was trash. It was garbage. It was, it was super garbage. I don't really have much, that much to talk about the fight because everybody who's seen it, I'm more mad that you wasted my time. I can't get that two hours back in my life. Then you got Bub and them niggas at the crib. You gonna we gonna spend eighty nine dollars on pay per view for this shit. Not even the regular like forty nine ninety nine. Eighty nine dollars. Yeah, nah, Ch- come on, bro. Charlo, can we get our eighty nine dollars back, <laughs> please? 
Please, Please just give us the 89 back and it's all good. It's water under a bridge, man. Nah, it ain't because I can't get my time back. <laughs> my time was way more valuable than the $89 because you got to think about how many $89 niggas spent because he sold us a dream. Now, we know what you're getting when Canelo come to the table. Yeah. Charlo lied. He got to get back 40 of the He's, 89. Paul is trying to go hard on, on Charlo or the Charlo twins, but he said his gems is lions only. That wasn't a line in there. That again. Pause. I'm going hard. Pause. I don't yeah. know why you're not trying to go hard. The nigga wasted our time, oh, and yeah, not only did. our time, everybody else whose time was in. I really have nothing else to say about it. I'm good. Everybody seen what happened. It wasn't like no shit to really talk about. You ran. You lost. You got knocked down. You didn't even get knocked down. You took a knee. A nigga yeah, that punched was you. that was a surrendering move. Yeah, exactly. You got hit. It ain't like it was no flash knockdown, a stun knockdown. You actually took a knee, nigga. I ain't with it. I'm cool. What happened, to going, what happened to going out on the shield? Ask that nigga. <laughs> you know who went out on their shield? Errol Spence. Errol Spence I guess went out he, on their shield. Yeah, Errol Spence went out Child on the shield. Shout out to Errol. And yeah. he tried to diss Errol in the... Um, all access. He definitely tried access. to diss like Errol Spence was all tired. I ain't trying to be Errol Spence. I, I got more respect for Errol Spence than yeah. you, nigga. Errol Spence was getting his ass whipped when the nigga... When the nigga stopped the fight, Errol Spence said, what you stopping it for? The whole world see yeah. why they were stopping the fight, and he wanted to know why they were stopping the fight. I got way more respect for Errol than that nigga. Yeah, shout out to Errol Spence. All right, good points. Okay. And no shout out to Derek James. <laughs> Nigga's leaving you, bro. You better, you better do something fast. He got one more fighter to go out that way, and then... You, you, all your big fights, pause. You going outside. That nigga, that gym going to be empty soon. You better do something fast, nigga. Okay. Well, the holiday season came early this year with the Trailblazers trading Drew Holiday to the Celtics. Yeah, that was fine. So the Celtics sent Robert Williams and Malcolm Brogdon to the Blazers. Do we like this trade? Malcolm Brogdon to where? To the to the Blazers. Oh, I thought he was traded already. Well, they, they got to have plans to trade him. No, Brogdon and Williams went yeah. to Portland and they got Drew Holiday. Yeah. Mm. I, I'll start. I, I don't... I, listen, man, niggas underrate Brogdon, bro. Brogdon was that nigga when he was in Milwaukee. He was super nice. It's just that they had to figure out who to pay. They couldn't pay him. And uh, what's the other shooting guard I can't think of right now? Nigga, they, yo, Bob, the nigga wasn't doing shit the last two years. Chris Middleton. Middleton. It was one of the other. They had to pay him and Chris Middleton. They paid Chris Middleton. He went to in Indiana. He was busting ass in Indiana. It's just that Indiana don't fucking get a lot of light. He left Indiana. He had a real decent year at Boston. Like, I think that Brogdon is a very underrated play. I think he's very good. And then Williams, he's just not available all the time, but that nigga's nice. It's a lot to give up for Drew Holiday, and I'm not saying Drew Holiday isn't good, but uh, maybe they're trying to get back some defense because they got rid of Marcus Smart. But I don't know if I would have gave up all that yeah. just for uh, Drew Holiday. What I will say is this about this whole situation. It seemed like they just did musical chairs. They did all of that trading to get the same, the same pause, firepower that they had before. I mean, you know, they got poor Zinga, 7 3 nigga who always hurt too. So at the end of the day, you know, I think maybe they banking on size pause, but at the end of the day, he's not always available. What I'll say the, about this whole thing is this what I've been noticing. Yeah. And this may be some billionaire shit going on that we don't know about. And there's a lot of billionaire problems of beef and shit that we don't know about, like Elon Musk, yeah, Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, just make sure he doesn't yeah. win. Yeah. Right. Do you notice how all this Portland shit that was going on, even back with Damian Lillard, they're supposed to deal a bunch of shit with Miami, and they're not doing shit with Miami, and they're making the other, other teams, teams in the better. East Coast make, That's what I better. meant, to make sure you don't win. They're doing a bunch of shit, it seems like, to make sure Miami does not win. So you make sure Milwaukee gets better. In your eyes, okay, we'll take this, that, but Boston And now you're get getting Boston better. Yeah. Whatever Pat Rowley and them niggas got going on, they must have <laughs> pissed them niggas off in Portland to say, fuck y'all niggas. Yeah. We not doing business with y'all niggas and we not trying to help y'all get better because it's two things happening that they won't, two different trades that they won't do any business. Yeah. With uh, Miami. Then you got Jimmy Butler crying about the shit. You got to look at the front office, what's happening. And sometimes we don't know behind the scenes when these billionaires be mad at each other. Mm -hmm. They say, fuck you in a different way. That makes sense. That looked like what was happening there. And I'm I'm glad for Chauncey Billups. It seemed like he's recruiting all the blue kind of collar players that fit his system. So 
He should be ready to turn that program around. Them niggas ain't turning around this year, my nigga. Not this. You can forget about that shit. You can forget about the Lakers look decent. We gonna see. I don't. I don't. I still don't like. Then you know I just see Draymond is out for the first four to six yeah. weeks. Yeah. With a high ankle sprain. I do. I, you know I'm really nervous about this Golden State shit because you know my problem is this with Golden State is this is that as soon as fucking Chris Paul be like Chris Paul like to do a lot of this shit. Yo, come here. Come here. Here and then you do this, yeah, we could get that. And Steph gonna be like, "Get the fuck out my face, bro! I've been busting your ass for ten years. Please do not tell me which way to fucking go on the court." Because, because Chris, where do you play Chris Paul on and go this day? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I, you know, how I feel about Chris Paul. He's a Hall of Famer and all that shit. But he really be trying to coach him. You ever see when he's in the huddle trying to give James Harden? James Harden slapped his hand down? Because niggas don't be wanting to hear all that coaching shit. We went to go see yeah. the nigga play in Phoenix. He telling um, Aiden, yo, if you go here and make a left, then it's, yo, you never won no chip, Chris. Niggas, you can't go to Golden State with this, yo, if a right, and then you, no, they, no, bro, no. They got four chips. They got about five different, Playoff appearances where they bump you, nigga. Y'all niggas was the split. Um, they was they was on the lobby, live boys, whatever. Yeah. That that been so long, nigga. Fucking DeAndre Jordan, just a back of role player. He yeah. was there when niggas nice. You had Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin is a role player too. They now. all role players. Chris, you the nigga that's gonna have to be a role player on this team. Please do not try and tell Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green. I don't know where Ink with Dallas at. These niggas bust. That. Please do not what try to tell them what role, to do. Though? What is his role, though? What is his role on Golden State? I don't know, Murder, and I don't like it. I wish they get rid of the nigga. It's not going to work because he tried to coach too much. And I'm telling you now, if I'm Steph Curry, I'm not listening to you. It's a whole highlight reel of Steph Curry just busting Chris Paul ass. Yeah. Just a whole highlight. The uh, twist, uh, look. The yeah, twist. It's a twist whole stuff. five and a half minutes of just highlights of him busting ass. Please shut up and just play your position because if I'm Steph Curry, they're not listening to you. Draymond Green already said they didn't like him for years. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know how it's going to fit. Pause. I do know this. They play Phoenix first game of the season. Oh, what yeah, we I got to go to that. What we doing? We, we got to go to that. Yeah, we going. We Where they playing at? If it's, I don't know. If it's going to stay, I don't think I'm going. If it's in Phoenix, you know we rolling up. Yeah. KD and the family. What's up? Um, Twist, what's up, KD? We pulling up, nigga. We can't wait. <laughs> Cannot wait, man. But I don't like Chris Paul on Golden State. But to answer your question, Portland is not doing business with Miami, and that's just that. Yeah, they did. They did something, and we don't know about it. But soon it'll come out. Hey, yo, oh, <laughs> crazy! <laughs> they did something, and it come out as well. <laughs> Hey, well, the season's already God, off to come an on interesting in, start. Do your thing. <laughs> oh, I thought you was going to... All right. Hey, I yo. You, not this you know, time. Thought, come hey, on in, you. Nick. Do your thing. Because yeah, you, know you know he do his thing with. Who <laughs> <laughs> might, <who> might be <laughs> always fixing. I thought, I thought this is what he was coming in here for. Wild. Whose mic is he always fixing, Bob? Hey, Bob. Bob, you going to ignore... Bob, pause. You going to ignore what he just said? You that know was what? crazy, right? Let's go to the videotape real quick <laughs> and see what Nick usually does when he comes in here. Real quick, please. Oh. I hope we recorded that. <laughs> Yo, I hope that's on it's tape. It's all on yeah. tape. Fix all that is it. covering up your face is crazy, man. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, that send was me, wild. Send bro. me that clip, please, personally. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> send me. <laughs> so that's what I was referring to <laughs> when Nick comes in here. And I said, do you think, pause? I, I don't know what kind of relationship him and Murder yeah, got. Yeah, that was still a pause All moment. Right, you, you got it. You got that pause. Say no more. Okay. Well, let us know your thoughts on the trade. When we're going to go to break real quick, and when we return, we'll talk about the Dolphins and the Bills. Well, 
welcome back. So let's get into our underdog fantasy picks of the day. Today, the Giants play the Seahawks. Underdog fantasy has Geno Smith at 14 and a half rushing yards. Do you have him higher or lower? I'm I'm gonna go falls higher. Wow. Wow. Cause they said <laughs> 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 that's a good one. That that's really good. Uh it's a really good uh I don't want to say that word. That's, that's a good pick. What would I say? Rushing yards, Geno Smith against the bum ass Giants. Why why wouldn't he have it? I'm gonna say lower because I don't think he's gonna have to rush for that many yards. I think you have a good passing game where he don't even have to rush for that many yards. So I'm gonna go lower. Kenneth Walker the third is at two receptions. Do you have him higher or lower? Lower. I'm going to go higher. And Daniel Jones is at half rushing and receiving yards combined. Do you have him higher or lower? Underdog just be wanting y'all to get the money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> niggas saying that the... Nah, underdog, y'all them niggas, man. I can't front. Y'all niggas is giving money away. They, they got... Niggas say he won't have a half a yard rushing <laughs> or passing. <laughs> gotta go high. I don't even fuck with that nigga, Dave Jones. But, like, you gotta go high on that. I'm, you gotta fuck with underdog. They niggas is giving money away. You have... I'm, if you didn't download the app, go download that shit now. This is guaranteed... Uh, a half higher. a yard? Yes. They might know something. <laughs> <laughs> no, Underdog, you know I'm working no, with you. you. Underdog, I'm working with you. You know why? Because they might know something. You, pause. you know why? Because you know when they had that half a yard on Aaron Rodgers, and <laughs> Aaron Rodgers ain't get a half a yard. If you bet it low on that, you probably came the fuck up. Pause. Yeah. I'm going to go higher, though. Under. Lower. Okay. You going lower? Pause. <laughs> they might know something. Right. <laughs> That's how you keep everybody everybody working with underdog. <laughs> Say no more, guys. Okay, I guess we'll see. Make sure to download the Underdog Fantasy app and you can make your picks too. Okay, so the Buffalo Bills beat the Miami Dolphins 48 to 20, giving the Dolphins their first loss of the season. So what does this mean for the Dolphins? Well, we put Bob in on this. Yeah. You know, Yo, why Nick, don't you put Bubba on, on camera? Why don't you put Bubba on camera? Throw him on. You know why this happened? Because you didn't trust me about the rookie running back. I told you this. No, but I told you. Do you need us to go to the tape? Put the camera on me. Do you need us to go to the tape? I said A-Chain. Did I not? Do you need to go back to the tape? But did you hear that? Did you hear A Chain? That's all I want to know. That's all I want to know. Did you hear A Chain? You don't? Oh, okay. I, I have to agree. Who? who you was did going for Miami. You, did you no, remember? No, no, no. Did who you did remember you A Chain? No, I don't remember. I'm going with Okay, Bubba well, let's on this. stop. Let's go back to the tape. Can you give me the tape of, of last week? <laughs> yeah. You're going to have Nick looking for three hours. On Miami. <laughs> okay. When we was talking about them running and they was playing, it was like they was playing home alone. And I talked about how he was playing. And then when we talked about everybody else, I was like, this is this is the person. What about him? I mean, I'm saying he showed up again when when um Hill didn't show up. I was just letting you know I know things before they happen. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just being consistent. It made no sense. I, I, I'm, going with, I'm, I'm not going with this one. You said what did he say about what is exactly he had a good game, but what are you saying? Oh, I was saying that he was gonna be a definite contributor to the team when everybody was talking about everybody else. Tua and Hill and everybody else. Who did he go for last week, yo? Who'd he pick? Was it the Dolphins or the Bills? No, I was the one that said that they were the less likely team to remain three and zero. Do y'all need to see that tape too? Cam, I'm always right, Cam. I'm just I'm, letting I'm you know that. You did say that. I did, you did say, say that. that. You I did, did say, say that. Because we was talking. You're like, yeah. all right, all right. I know what you're talking yeah. You did say that. All right. You did say that. You did, I, yeah. you did say they was the less Thank likely you. team. Thank you. And That's I, why he got the me, Miami green and on. Me and, me and Stat. he said they would be our top Me and Stat yeah. did yes, say. Yes, so you guys were wrong. I was right. <laughs> 
for once. Thank you. I'm giving you a credit. Can you say it too? Mace, you were right. Yes, Mace, you were right. I but like I that. Also I like did that. Say, no, no, but I, no, 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 no. I just don't put nothing extra on no, no, it. Just no, let me have you. my moment. Yes, Mace, you, you were right. Yeah, Mace, you were so right. But I can, also can did I say, I did say <laughs> for top contenders, because remember you said it, it doesn't matter you're choosing Kansas. I did say Miami or the Bills. So. I just have to press That Florida is rubbing off balls on you. Oh, all right, I look, look <laughs> this is what I'm going to say about the game is this, that. You know, this is like our first, excuse me, this is our first time doing uh, a full NFL season on the show. You know, this show hasn't even been going on for a year. And, mm -hmm. and I will say this, man. I used to get so mad at watching other sports commentator to other shows, other debate shows, and be mad at them week to week because they would say this this week, or say this next week, or say this the week after. And when you're doing this shit, pause, your shit gonna change up every motherfucking Thank you, week. Cam. Thank <laughs> you. You're growing. No, Cam, no, right? no, to a certain no, extent. no. The pause. point, the point yeah. being, that's that, hey, yo, that's crazy. I'm I growing. Said pause I don't already. care. It was crazy. It's <laughs> <laughs> I'm growing as well. <laughs> but what what I will say is this: you're not right every week, neither. Like you know, first two weeks, niggas was cowboys. Is 85 Dolphins. 85 Bears. Last year, yeah. 85 Bears, pardon me. <laughs> last week, the Dolphins is the best team in football. Look, when you do this shit, it's very hard for 17 weeks to know what's going to happen week to week. I think by week eight, week nine, this is my opinion, it's our first, first time doing this, that you could gain some momentum. So we went from Dallas being the best team, then Miami being the best team. Now, what I will say is this. I've always said Kansas City. Uh, murder, please. You yeah. don't even know was Kurt coaching before, quarterback before Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, no idea. Cameron. I don't care. It's my, Cameron. Anyway. Gillett. Bob. What Gillett. I'm saying Gillett. anyway is Bob, that. don't know you as Gillett. <laughs> Gillett. <laughs> Look at me, Gillett. I told you Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> Put the camera on him. I told him this. And now he's coming to his senses. He's coming to his senses. Listen, we'll talk about Kansas City too. Them niggas just got past the Jets. But what I'll say is this, man. It's really hard from week to week to uh, know who's going. Because now, you know what happens? Buffalo lost their first week. Now Buffalo look like they're in full yeah. stride. You know what I'm saying? Josh Allen looked like the nigga he was the last couple years. Stephon Diggs is looking good. They looking like they're back in full momentum. And they lost that first game. And everybody, what's going on with Buffalo? What's happening with Buffalo? Them niggas look good. I tell you this, I tell you this much, Bob. I don't know who went in that division now. <laughs> I tell you that yeah. much. It looked like Miami was going to win the division. Yeah, it's looking, it's looking quiet. I was thinking about that today. You know, back in the days, it seemed like it was more NFC. Now it seems like it's just going to be an AFC team. I don't see nobody else winning. Winning what? The Super Bowl? Yeah. Period. <laughs> yo, just, winning, yo, just giving you the I, future I, I, from I, from day. I'm I'm just letting you know, so you you can say he said it. You know. What am course, I here? Because why? Because the Chiefs is in the AFC. That's why. No, I'm saying all the, all the teams I like is in the AFC. I I did my homework. I started thinking about it. All the teams I really like in my AFC kit. What what team do you like, Murder, besides the Chiefs? <laughs> <laughs> Who else besides the Chiefs do you like? You I'm, can, just, I'm just letting you know. You couldn't even make a Super Bowl prediction for about who's going to be in the Super Bowl because both of my teams were from the AFC. It can't be two AFC teams in I the know, Super but I'm Bowl. I'm saying it's going to be one of those teams. But who was the other one? You said the Jets were your team in the yeah. beginning of the season. No, I said I said after that game we would know. No, did it? You, I did. You I did. And you teams. said you can't be. It can't be this or that. That's what you were saying. You were telling me that Mays just make a pick. Remember that? We, you need that tape too. I'm just saying. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have somebody in here just Yo, recording Nick, you. Nick, recording you. Could the nigga pick a Super Bowl contender? Yes or no? He couldn't do it. No, because they, both they of my booth. teams were were from the AFC. Murder. You're an analyst. Your analyst, murder. I'm not. I'm an expert. All right, your expert. Who as from an expert. the expert? As an expert, <laughs> who from the NFC is going to the Super Bowl as an expert? I had both of them. I had. I had. I didn't want to say Philly because I, you know, they, you know, they they flip back and forth. 
I wanted to they be. They flip just... back and forth more than you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> more than you. Yeah. Okay, got you. Yeah, so okay. I didn't want to say her name. Got so you. I just stuck with, you know, Kansas City. Listen, I'll just say this about the game real quick. Miami, uh, they didn't look that good. The Bills look great today. I know that we have to deal with this shit tomorrow with OJ, so I'll leave it at that. Uh, congratulations to Buffalo. Tomorrow we'll have a whole bunch more of this shit with OJ. He went to the game and all shit. He called me today. I ignored the nigga phone call. I ain't got time to deal with OJ <laughs> yeah. today. So if you have something to say about it, I'm just getting my shit ready for OJ tomorrow. Pause. Okay. Well, the Titans beat the Bengals 27 to 3. So clearly there's a problem. So what do you think about the final score? The Titans beating who? The Bengals. Bengals only scored three points. Oh, that's points. Cam's team, right? That's the Ohio. <laughs> what happened to your guy? Why is his QBR so low? What's going on? You're you going to tell me he's hurt, right? Please, please, pause. Tell me tell me where you're going with this, because I don't see no Ohio. Cam, where's the... You used to get it in Ohio. Where, where is that at, Cam? <laughs> Oh my goodness! I was looking for I was looking for Burroughs. He was missing. Everybody knows you can't win a football game unless you got two hundred to twenty five yards, and he was almost like a little bit pause over half of that. So you want you want my expert opinion? Is it are you ready to abandon this Joe Burrow? Pat Mahomes argument, or are you still going to stand on one leg? I need to know, Cameron, because the people are not liking this. <laughs> I'm talking to they. They don't like this. OJ say, y'all, y'all don't like this. Do you like this, Cameron? Because <laughs> this, this is crazy. This is your God. One in three, Cameron. You're not gonna meet Joe. You're not gonna meet Pat talking like this. <laughs> You're not gonna be around when the smoke clears. <laughs> but hey, I'm gonna let you have your Joe Burrow moment because I don't see no Ohio. <laughs> oh wow, that was great. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I got more Ooh. missiles if you need me to <laughs> keep going. Because I was prepared for this. Pause. I was thinking about this all day. <laughs> the Bengals, Ohio, Cincinnati. You want to know what's going on? <laughs> yeah, what's going on? You want to know what's going on? Please enlighten me. Nigga hurt. Oh. <laughs> Nigga hurt. Yes, <laughs> Nigga hurt. <laughs> This is what happened. <laughs> Why is he out there, boy? Because he took two hundred seventy-five million. He don't want to look like no sucker. That's just straight up fact, my nigga. Okay. Niggas just signed for two hundred seventy-five million, and for him not to play, niggas <laughs> is gonna be like, "Yo, come on now, niggas just gave you two seventy-five. <laughs> I think he should sit the fuck down because he got a lot of time <laughs> left. But I respect it. You know what it is. That's the Ohio shit. I ain't gonna rob you, rob you, nigga. <laughs> I ain't gonna just take your money, nigga, and not give yeah. you no effort, nigga. Yeah. You know, us niggas gonna get out there, nigga. Like, look. At that least was your, crazy, too. You know what's crazy? You, you ain't gotta, gonna take his money and not give him no effort. <laughs> yeah, well, you was talking about one. Yeah, all you, you got is one you, leg to stand you on. Roll all right you, now. Yeah, you said, yeah, all you, you got is one leg to stand on. I'll I'm let you let it go. Fine. I'm gonna let it go. Fine. If you want, I'm gonna you know what we're gonna do? I'm calling I'm, Kevin. I'm, I'm getting all your pause moments. I'm gonna call I'm Kevin. Gonna and I'm getting your all top 10 pause moments of the year. That's what I'm gonna Let's do. Let's be professional. Go ahead. Now you wanna be professional when I told you I'm gonna call Kevin. That was crazy. It was not. That was crazy. Anyway. I ain't gonna take your money and not give you no effort. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. So, right. yeah. Listen, Joe Burrows got paid. Yeah. He been out the first six weeks of training camp before they even started playing. I dig it, yo. The nigga got 275 million. He wants to show effort. Right now, they're one in three. It don't really look good for them to go to the playoffs. I would sit down a couple games. It's a little longer season. It's an extra game, 17 games this year. Sit out two, three weeks, see how his calf come along, and if they could do something, they could do something, but he don't want to rob niggas. So you're agreeing they're not going to the playoffs? You're, no, I'm not agreeing on that. That's but the real saying. question was, 
it's him and Patrick Mahomes, and maybe he may not get to play Patrick Mahomes, but the fact still remains All right. that he's 3 or 1 against so Patrick Mahomes. What happened with the defense? Because he's I'm on offense. I'm asking you a question, Murder. He's on I'm offense. asking you a question. He's on offense. Did you watch? The NFL special that I told you to watch on Netflix when Patrick Mahomes is going in the locker room screaming like he's having nightmares about Joe Burrow. Did you watch it yet? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> and I bet you won't. <laughs> so I'm, I'm they... going to go watch it because as an expert that I, I, you know, I stand for. You could do this I'm, all I'm, you I'm want. I'm going to actually Every time you do this, you can do this all you want, man. <laughs> It's no, the fact I'm, I'm asking remains. you about their defense, though. Uh, did you see your defense? Because it, it, it has more to do Absolutely. with the defense. You got you got other players acting like they're the wide receiver. What I mean, mean? they're be the more quarterback. Specific. Be more specific when you say that. When you got one of the guys throwing a touchdown that ain't even a quarterback. They're just playing around with Paul's What are you with talking about? I wrote it down. I, I, I had I, to I, write I, this I, down. I, okay, that's what I'm asking you. Be more specific, please. Okay, all right. You got you got your rookie. You got a rookie tight end caught. You know, got a got a a touchdown that he was. So you tell me names. I don't want to talk to you about it. Okay. <laughs> They're the Titans. Okay. Tell I don't. Me, I don't. I don't, don't, I don't study the about. Titans. I don't Karen. study the Bengals or the Titans like that. This I'm is not about the other Jones sports Burles, show man. where you just study anybody. <laughs> you I'm right. about rings. So Anything you want to know about bring, champs? Why bring them up? I should tell you. Why bring them up? So because it's the defense. It's the defense. Then why are you telling me about the Titans if you're to only study champs? Because this is your team. No, it's not my team, bro. That's not my team. You know that's not my team. Who is Joe Burrow? to you. That's my nigga from Ohio. Oh, okay, that's not okay. my team. All right, that's, so, what so I was, that's what I was getting You know at. that. I was just, like a lawyer builds his case, I was just Mahomes building my from? case. Cameron. I'm ask, I just asked you a question. It's Beth Cameron, and Gilly. You, know, you want to go Beth yeah, and Gilly? Yeah, yeah, you want to go yeah, Beth and Gilly? Yeah, yeah. Listen. Who is, where's Beth and Mahomes that's from? Re, that's called reverse psychology. Not, I'm just asking you a general question. I don't have question. time for, I asked you for, a general for, question. for that kind of menstrual scrutiny. All I'm asking scrutiny. you is where is Patrick Mahomes from? I don't have time from? for that kind of menstrual scrutiny. I'm asking you a question. Scrutiny. Where is Patrick Mahomes from? That's all I'm asking. Listen, Cameron. You don't know, do you? He's from Titletown. Okay. I, yeah, do you like that? <laughs> That boy good. That boy good. <laughs> yeah. He from Titletown. He from Titletown. Where you from, boy? He from Titletown. I'm from Titletown. Yeah. That was good. You know what? Yeah. That was good. Yeah. And I'll leave it at yeah. that. But yeah. that's so amazing. Three and one to That was a good one. That was a good one. I like yeah. that. That was a good one. <laughs> I'm not making no excuse yeah. for Cincinnati, but I'm making yeah. an excuse for Joe Burrow. Oh. Get paid more than Pat right now. Yeah, he does. Yeah, so. Okay. Well, the Eagles beat the Commanders 34 to 31 in overtime. Mm. So what do you think about the Eagles? Eagles still ain't play. I watched that game, actually. I watched that whole game. Uh, it was a good game. They still aren't playing like up to their capability. The reason why the Eagles are scary is because they're 4-0 now, and they're they ha- still winning and not playing their best. They haven't yeah. played a good game yet. Like, they won that game. I watched the, this is the first time. I mean, I've been seeing the highlights of the Eagles, but I watched the full game today. Them niggas stunk it up majority of the game. You know what I'm saying? The quarterback for the Redskins looked really, really good. He was he was decent. He had, he, he had a, uh, it was like a 70-yard drive to make it go in the overtime. It was a really good game, but... The Eagles, if they get it together, they're going to be dangerous because they already know how to play in tight games this year um, moving forward. So if they have a breakout game, they could be really dangerous for the NFC. <laughs> Since you know, that's the only team you know in the NFC, <laughs> they could be really dangerous. <laughs> All of those teams used to win it. I look at the NFC like the teams that used to win in the 90s and the 80s. That's all I see. I didn't ask you that. I just gave you my opinion on who's who the game today. No, just so you know, I do know. I, I just don't have time for them. I don't say you do. I just yeah. told you my opinion on the NFC. The top teams are in the NFC. It doesn't matter what you say, Mason. You have two of them. Somebody has to go to the Super Bowl, whether you no. like it or not. Yeah, they'll be there to lose. I like the 49ers this year better than the Eagles, actually. Oh, yeah, the 40, they could. Oh, you forget, you forgot. Oh, yeah, they're, yeah, they, they're in the FC. 80s, yeah. yeah. But you forgot they were in the FC, too? Yeah. Don't, don't they no, that's the AFC a, team? it's a new day. I said okay. they were from the 90s and 80s. Those they're are actually, they all, every team is like from the 90s and 80s. And no, I mean, the teams that used to win it. Okay. 
Got you. So no NFC teams won since the nineties and eighties. No, That's what you said. Every it seemed like different seasons. You know, different people dominate. All she asked you was about the Eagles and the Commanders, bro. That's all. That's all she asked you, man. That's what happened when you asked the expert more calls with come out. <laughs> you have no answer about anything in the NFC. I see. I, I see. Like, I see what's going on. You have anything to say about the game? No. <laughs> 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 what Magic's team? Oh, Magic is there. They're not winning. He, they just acquired the team. Um, what Magic with the Commanders? You talking about? Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm expecting them. I'm expecting them to have a a better team next year. But this year, they just where they are. Jalen Hurts. I'm looking team. down. He had 319 yards, two touchdowns. They had a decent game. Was, I watched the game, so the numbers didn't even really matter. They sunk it up. I really thought Washington played good. They played mm-hmm. really good today. They should have won that game, to be honest. You watch the game, set? Yeah. Me and you watch games. That's what we do. <laughs> I was at the game. I didn't, I didn't. I was just talking to Stat. I could watch the only, game if I'm at the I'm game. I'm only talking to Stat Murdered. I was just, I didn't Traveling, say that you were saying. I just was saying. Bringing you to the, the boxing <laughs> match that they don't <laughs> fight in it. I'm running around going to fights with people running around. And then I'm running to different states and you don't show up. And But you're watching the game. Murder. Maybe if you'd have answered your phone, I would have known you. Was we a- gave you a heads up that I wouldn't make it. We was all prepared to come for us. But I made sure you was mm-hmm. good. And what do you do? But we're brothers. Absolutely. Definitely. Things happen. Things happen. Yeah. I wasted your time. You wasted mine. <laughs> <laughs> we even. <laughs> the Broncos defeated the Bears 31-28, to leaving the Bears 0-4. So what are your thoughts on both teams? My boy Russ is back. He's back. What else you want me to say? Sierra is back home. She must be back in the house. When, when, was she ever, Murder, Murder, when was she ever out the house? She probably was on the road. She probably had shows to do. And he didn't have her at home. So he was playing weird. But now Sierra got him back, you know. Shout out to Sierra. Shout out to the Wilson family, you know. I don't even think Sierra was on the road because she knows she got a sucker. She ain't got to do shows no more. <laughs> she, <laughs> oh, come on. She can sit home and collect the checks. <laughs> she ain't got to do nothing no more, man. She good. If she want to go on the road, she could. I think she hit the game. I think the nigga just ain't good like he used to. I think that Russell Wilson is just one of the best family men you could be, and sometimes that takes the dog out of you pause. Sometimes that takes the passion out of you of being uh, that dog football player when you want to be a better husband or a better father. So you think you got to be a psycho to be a great player? Not at all. Tom Brady is a, a great testament of being a great family man and a great father. But then what happens when you love football more than you love your family? Mm. You lose. I told you that growing up. Kim, I didn't tell you, hey, if you want to be a, a dope MC. You got to not have a girlfriend. Please tell me I didn't tell you that, Kim. Who has a wife and who doesn't? <laughs> not an <MC. laughs> <laughs> so, so you're not a dope MC no more? <laughs> so if it needed to be right now, you are not a dope MC? <laughs> yeah, I mean, things oh, change <laughs> week to week. <laughs> So right now, if the money yeah, on the take line, that back. Let yeah, me oh, all right, because yeah, 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 guy, I think you might yeah, want to yeah. rephrase I, that. I mean, in football, you say I don't. So, I hope so. nobody sees this. No, I did say that. I did say that with rap, but I said let me let me take that one. Yeah, you want me leave my girlfriend when we was young? Yeah, made me break up my girl <laughs> and all type of shit. Then and you, you blew up. Yeah, I did. You did. We, blow up. we blew up. Then you left. And got a girlfriend left me for day. <laughs> Tell him, I'm still single to this day. I ain't got nothing. But I'm still a dope MC. I was in the studio with you recently. Seemed like you still a dope MC. That's why I don't understand the correlation of what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I take that back. I take that back. Listen, man, Sierra got a lick, man. Pause. End of the day, she knows she got a Vic. And, you know, Future Make a Song. Russell Wilson put up a tweet with a nigga's son walking on the football field talking about men raise men, little quotes like that. That's not going to get you to win these football games, yeah. bro. I, 
Stop trying to bow Future. Future going to the studio and start singing shit all the time. You know, Future throw niggas in the crossfire and niggas be catching straight bullets all the time. They tell Steve Harvey he don't want us. What Steve did to Future? <laughs> Steve ain't did shit to Future. Steve catching straight. Leave that nigga alone, B. And then like Mace was telling me, I never knew this. Mace made me realize something that in the state of Georgia, that the maximum child support, this according to Mace, yeah. is $300 per kid. Future grind mad kids. You know what I mean? $300 a month he can afford, man. So you're not hurting his feelings acting like you out with his son. You got mad other sons. Not saying he don't love the son that you with, but you're not hurting <laughs> his feelings with little Future walking on the football field. He got a bunch of other kids that he has also. So stop trying to battle Future and win football games. Sean Payton, your motherfucking strategy did not work talking about stop kissing the babies, stop holding hands, stop trying to hold old ladies, help old ladies cross the street. It's not going to happen no more until that nigga, I bet you one thing, he break up with, if Sierra left him and be, he'll kill. That nigga be kill Bill pours out there. I you believe that. You think if he break up with Sierra, he'll, he'll play better? So let's reverse that. He's never breaking up with Sierra. If Sierra left him. Oh. Because he's, he's, he's in for life. He's one of them a lifer. <laughs> it's nothing she <laughs> could do wrong that he's not going to leave her. But if she broke up with him, I think he would definitely play good. I think he's more of a family man. He got his Super Bowl ring. You no know, first team all NFL a couple times. I think he's comfortable. He's relaxed. This game today really don't mean shit. Both of them niggas was 0-3. So the win shit. doesn't mean anything. The Chicago Bears, they ain't shit. Yeah. They I trash. think a quarterback is really not playing until you get to that 225 passing yard. Let me see right here. The nigga the nigga. Uh, he has yeah. 335. This is actually one of his better games, yeah. but it yeah. still yeah. wasn't. Justin enough. Fields had 335. Yeah. He had a good game. Yeah. So even if he rallied from a 21 deficit, it don't matter because the team is 0-3 when he met him. Had yeah, four touchdowns, one interception. Yeah. Uh, Russell Wilson had 223 yards, three touchdowns. This game really didn't matter. The real reason that we're bringing this game up on our, on our show is because y'all niggas ain't going to get no run on here. But they kicked to like week seven, eight, because y'all nobody going to give a fuck about y'all niggas. So we're going to talk about y'all now. We're going to talk about why y'all niggas ain't winning. So be happy that we're giving y'all some light now because in a few weeks we won't give a fuck about you. Yeah, that's the way I am now when you ask me about certain things and I don't have nothing to say. That's exactly my viewpoint. Give me an example. We was just talking okay. about, the right? Whole, no, see, the, the whole Titans thing. Titans and but I, the whole that's thing, how the whole I feel. Thing, but the whole thing this is that. I'm this is what talking I'm talking about. about. Them He's niggas. trying to spin you. He brings the Titans up. I asked a question about where somebody's name and name on the Titans. Then he said, I'm not studying them. How are you going to bring something I'm not no. going into stat, further stat, detail until the further up? notice. Who put the Titans up? Him? I further just bring up details. info for both parties. Who? Thank you. Who put, who asked, that is from Florida. Stat, I'm She's from you, Florida. I'm asking you a yes or no question. Okay, or, go ahead. Who brought the Titans up? Him or me? Mace I brought it up just for up. a specific point. Titans. For minutes. I rest my case. That's not it. to make sense that, that. of them. They're not <laughs> on that level yet for me to talk about it. I'm an expert, Cameron. An expert on what, Murder? <laughs> on sports. <laughs> I hear that, but if you're telling me about somebody in the Titans and then I ask you who, you talk about that don't matter. <laughs> I'm saying because I have better things to do with my They don't time. ever tell me about the Titans because I have better <laughs> things to do to even talk about the Titans in the first place. I was only here to talk about Joe Burrow. I could give a fuck about what the Titans did. Yeah. So you brought him up. I in thought relation, you had more In relation to Joe Burrow, that was it. No problem. He still okay. had three or one against Patrick Mahomes, no matter what happens. No, that's what I'm saying. That was the only reason I spoke about it. And the only reason I'm bringing it up that he's three and one against Patrick Mahomes. You're right. Mahomes. I'll let you be right. It's not about letting me. It's an actual right. fight. It's not about letting me. <laughs> it's that I'm actually right about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let us know which game you thought was the most surprising. We're going to go to break. And when we return, we will be joined by our special guest. She called this thing about was toxic Four years and counting Got you feeling like an option Maybe I'm my own problem, babe She tired of hearing I don't know 
My stabbing in me won't fall, oh, oh Dealing with this thing called trust But she really thinking about She wanna us. be free Why am I in this one? She wanna be free Welcome back. We are joined by our special guest, Bubba Dub. Bub is the creator of Trash Videos. He's a comedian and has over 850 thousand followers on Instagram. Introducing Bob. Bob, what up, man? What's up, man? How you What's doing? What's happening? You good? Bliss. Yo, thank you for coming through. First of all, congratulations on all your success. You know, before we was even doing your show, I was, you're one of the inspirations that also made me want to do a sports show because I'm like, this nigga right here is hilarious, very in, 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 invasive of how, that's not the word I'm looking for, very creative on how you do your videos and you're knowledgeable on sports and you got everybody saying trash for like the last three years and still saying trash so when niggas on tv be like trash not saying trash wasn't used before you took it to the next level man so we brought you in today because i want to see what was your top trash five moments of the week my top five trash moments of the week i'm gonna start it out with no other damn Keefy D. Keefy D. Trash. Trash. Don't know your own damn self, Keefy D. All them damn interviews. The monkey didn't nag up, fam. I told you, shut your big fat ass up. <laughs> now your ass in jail. Crying wolf. I don't want to hear it, Cal. So, wait, wait, hear. wait, wait. Where do I know that name you from? You know that nigga? <laughs> that name sound familiar. <laughs> <laughs> he rolling over in his sail right now. <laughs> That's crazy. So, so what the trick? Why is Keefe D in jail? What happened? Bro, he, we all know the 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 legend. For the people who don't for know, for the what people happened. don't know, Keefe D's in jail for the alleged murder of Tupac Shakur that happened twenty seven years ago. Right. All the people that was supposed to be. Involved in the murder, dead. He just only one alive. Why is you still talking, fam? He so what do you do? I see he do books, interviews, mm. blogs. They went back to the books. Well, you know the crime happened in Las Vegas. Okay, the nigga moved back to Vegas. Yeah, that, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. What? I'm, I'm I'm not playing. Where do I know that name from? Because <laughs> I'm still kind of lost. Yeah, you know. <laughs> no, for real, no, for real, no, for real, no, for real, I don't know what you're talking about. Bad boy. <laughs> what is he talking about? He fuck around with his name. I ain't gonna say his name, that nigga pausing, but yeah, Keith D definitely trash. Yeah, he definitely told on himself. What's the What's the story? What's the story? For uh, all legend, jokes they aside. Saying, they're saying Keith D killed Tupac. That's what they saying right now. Oh. Yeah, he in jail right now, man. That's <laughs> I crazy. mean, we finally getting justice, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I pray, I pray Tupac get justice. Whoever is involved, he needs justice. Everybody need their justice. Pause. He does. Pause. I didn't say he does. I want justice. I, I, don't, I don't even mean that in no joking way. It is what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, how we... <laughs> That's crazy. I, I when I heard the name, I was like, I I heard the name before, but I. It didn't really click like that. <laughs> no, y'all, y'all, y'all joking. I'm serious. It's I gonna click. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely gonna click. All right, I, I'm gonna agree on that. What else we got, but Ah, uh, we got, we got, we, we. The next one, I, I have, to, I have to go with the Pittsburgh Steelers, bro. Good. <laughs> they gonna win. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm sorry, yo. Like they gonna took their ass down nigga H Town, got chopped and screwed <laughs> by the Texans. How you lose to the Texans, man? The That's Texans, bad. right? They got Bum B as the head coach. <laughs> Powerball, Come on, man. Come on, Mike. Tell you said Bum black... B as the head coach. Man, I'm, a Trill Burgers like a motherfucker at the game, Trill. man. Shout out to Trill Burgers. Shout out to Trill, my nigga Bum. Let me ask you this, because I know you keep up. Do you think that Mike Tomlinson's time is up in Pittsburgh? No, because he got some on them roomies. Really? He got some. He been going eight and eight the last eight years. And they still ain't fired this during the head like eyes having ass do. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere, champ. They got something on. He got something on. But you know what, too? But he never, even though he, it may have been eight and eight, may have been fired, he never had a losing now, season. He ain't never had no losing season. Right. But we do know that's mediocre, though. Eight and eight. That's super mediocre. For Mike Thomas, absolutely. They normally find us, you yeah. know, brothers. Yeah. When I was this color. Yeah. But at the same time, 
and I'm not t- and, and he's probably my second or third favorite head coach. He really only has one championship though. Yes. Or is it two? One. No, he got only got one. He got one. Yeah, Ben got one with the other coach. So with the touchy. With how the great is Mike Tomlinson, really? Be honest. I got nigga average. <laughs> See, I don't care what nobody <laughs> said. I got nigga average, man. Yeah, Big Ben. Yeah, AB over there doing his thing. When AB left, they went down. Le'Veon. Thank you Le'Veon. for AB. Yeah. He boxing now. <laughs> that whole squad fucked up, man. I don't know what fuck going on in Pittsburgh no more, man. Where's Khalifa? He doing UFC? I don't know, man. Pittsburgh, come on. That's Get it together. Good. That's a good point. What else we got? Man, I, I I hate to do it. I, I got to talk about the New Orleans Saints, a.k.a. the Aints. Derek Carr had 127-yard passing, Mace. Trash! <laughs> <laughs> Making and, all that money, the hole you can give me 127 yard? You get your ass over on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I didn't watch that game, but I looked at the stats. They put Jamin Winston's and he had one pass and it was an interception. That nigga got Ray Charles eyes. How you gonna put Jamin's in the goddamn game? He can't see. So, so did you see the game? I didn't see what happened. All I did was leave the stats. Yeah, he was 0 for 1 with one interception. What the <laughs> fuck happened? Nigga, and the what? nigga gave a speech before he went in. What, what the I'm fuck? I'm about to change shit. You sure will The scoreboard, <laughs> nigga. Man, <laughs> listen, I don't know about, I don't know what's you going on there. about to change, No, man. James Winston is known for his, his speeches, bro. Like pep talks. And he was saying, I'm about to change shit. I'm going in and change the scoreboard. I mean, Immediately, That was man. his words of affirmation. <laughs> He gives pep talks in? <laughs> yeah. I don't know who's listening. Last <laughs> time I heard about Jamin Winston, like, outside of throwing Matt interception, he was stealing crab legs out of Publix. <laughs> 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 that's the last thing. He, I didn't know he was motivational. Yeah, that's a Florida guy, right? <laughs> well, well, that's where he yeah, went to he school at. He went to school in Florida. What else you got? You got one more for us? I got one more for you. All right, what else we got? I'm going to end it on this. And, right. and, and, and they not a bad team, but I just been hearing so much from their fan base. The Dolphins. Mm. They drowned that dolphin today. <laughs> <laughs> they drowned it. I'm telling you. They the dolphin can't dolphin drown. <laughs> they told me it wasn't a dump, it wasn't a dump in the city today. <laughs> <laughs> You can't drown a dolphin. Yeah. Trick Daddy rolling over in the grave <laughs> right now, man. Yeah, <laughs> nah, fuck that ball. And I yeah. like Miami. I think they got something, but it gets too much talking from that, from that, from them fans, man. You don't never they talk about right Miami. there. So they go with the whole yeah. shit right so there. So y'all going to the Super Bowl? Yeah. Every year. <laughs> you literally believe that. Man, two or one hit away from, <laughs> from, from <laughs> the whole damn season. That's a fact. That's a super duper fact. So where do you see the Dolphins going this year? I, I'll answer I'll bullshit aside. If Tua can stay healthy, which is he doing now, I think it's between them and Buffalo in that division of getting her. But they still got to go through the zebra. Pat Mahomes. <laughs> you know, mom, white, dad, black zebra. You got to go through Pat Mahomes. You know what I'm saying? got to go through the zebra. I mean, they ain't look too good tonight, but they won, though. But Pat Mahomes is a zebra. You know, best of both worlds, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Great minds. Keep Andy Reid with them cheese yeah. steaks. Y'all gonna win, man. I'm gonna pause that, yo. <laughs> pause it. I don't like you biting your lips when the nigga say factor, mo. I don't, I don't <laughs> like nigga biting their lips. Don't go LL Cool J on me when they start talking about Pat Mahomes. Nigga, yeah. Mahomes. <laughs> I ain't with all that, yeah. man. Hey, yo, yeah. Bob, thank you so much. Let people know where they can get your content from, your Instagram, your Twitter, your social, show them your handle, tell hey, them your man, handle. Y'all can holler at me on IG at BubbaDub94, or you can holler at me on Facebook, Light Page, BubbaDub Jr. Oh, shit, just Google me, man. My ugly ass will pop up. Bubba Dub, man. Google me. I'll pop up. That's what's up, man. Yo, we got to have you back on real soon, and we appreciate you falling through, bro. Most definitely. Yes. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Bub, thanks for being here. And as always, it is what it is. Uh, Two big necks, like when they doing them two for five.